Hello, everybody. It's Vertical Sandwich. I feel pretty miserable, but uh, this is RPGs. We can't, you know. So statue area selected. All right. Yeah, we want to activate it. Uh, yeah, I, I just I feel kind of stuffed up and a little run down, and my ear kind of hurts, which isn't making recording the easiest thing in the world. But uh, I guess I'll have to uh, I'll have to fire up my my homemade sauna. Uh, to drain my sinuses, so. All right, so this is a thing. This, this is, this is the statue area, and it's a blue red switch thing. Okay, we can't go up there. We can't go. It's gonna involve taking out, flipping switches back and forth, and taking out these rocks underneath these stairs. Ah, uh, these, these guys. Um. Okay. What do I want to do with them? I think what I want to do is cosmic. Oh, no, I want to do this. And uh, we'll analyze one of them, and get a good look. Yeah, so I built like I have this. I I altered a like a propane heater to to heat up, and then I use a wood fire to heat up rocks. And uh, built like a tar paper shack that I use as like a sauna, and it works really well. I mean, it'll it'll heat you right out of there. Um, I don't use it very often. Uh, just because it's a pain, like uh, it's a lot of it's a lot of prep work. All right, their weakness is holy. Okay, I uh, I guess. Uh, so I don't know what I actually feel. A little <coughs> oh wait. Oh, sorry, I was going to lose control of my voice there. Not good. So, uh, yeah, other than that. Yeah, it's actually really cool. People thought I was insane, but it works. Because I'm not insane. I'm just weird. All right. Or Sheldon Cooper would say, I'm not insane. My mother had me tested. Although my mother never had me tested, but... Ugh. All right, all right. We get it. There are enemies. Uh, we'll fight that guy, and we're gonna keep doing this. I would like to. I would like to pop out the last uh, fast draw ability because I've never used it. I've never seen it, and we're gonna have to get it eventually. If we're gonna do stuff after the end of the game. We will be finishing the game in this recording session, by the way. Like, I'm thoroughly confident of that. Oh, yeah, I have to keep turning off the mic to clear my nose. It's not great. I've had worse times with recording, I suppose. I should say it. I've been meaning to say this for a while. Uh, I don't think I'm replacing this with another RPG. Like, there are other RPGs to play. I just don't feel like doing another long, old RPG. I don't know. Um, okay, well, we've got to go down here if we're going to go anywhere. Now, I think... Alright, that's down from the switch. So, that's fine. Oh, I forgot to try the fast draw. We'll kill him in, 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 with just our, our attacks. He's not hard to kill. All right. And that gets us here anyway. The basic goal of this, uh, one second, by the way. So now, essentially, what we have to do is go to the upper corner and go down that place where I walked in, because that's where the switch is. There's only one switch. Change things from blue to red, as always. Uh, I don't know if I really want to do anything with her except attack. 
We're gonna do, uh, when we get back, I actually think what we're gonna do is... Uh, go out to, um... See if we can upgrade the Arc Smash a little more. It's not all that important, really. It may seem important, but it's not. Well, uh, we probably are gonna, for the stuff we're gonna do afterwards, because there are like mega bosses in this game and stuff, far beyond the potential, or far beyond the. Uh, so I might upgrade the most useful arms completely. Uh, off camera. Give me something to do while videos are processing. Just grind myself up and stuff. Okay, so we can't get through here until it is, uh, it's changed. But if we go down this way, well, we hit enemies, apparently. Ugh, okay. Hey, it's this guy again. It's always that guy. Well, this will take him out, so... It's funny that this game has us overpowered by design. That by doing like a, a essentially like a hundred percent run, we have over we have over leveled ourselves. It's not gonna matter for the stuff after. I mean, my understanding of the stuff after the end of this game, and I haven't played any of it, is that it's ridiculous. So here's our switch. Change it to red, and then go back. Okay, Dello Bunnies. Oh, fun stuff. These guys are almost impossible to hit, but give you a ton of experience. I don't want to do that. I want to do... Oh, maybe I do want to do that. The Phaser's got a 99 hit, so... We'll try it. Yeah, never mind. Dello Bunny runs away. All right. So now wait a minute. All right, I got this. Uh, essentially, your the point of this room is to move the two statues we saw earlier. And there are two diamond switches to do that, so... Alright. And we're gonna just keep up with what's working. I don't think you can high spark these guys. I don't think we can do any damage with Valkyrie either, so... We'll just, uh, we'll try our new fast draw until we can summon a Guardian. Oh yeah, that might be a problem. You jerks. I'm not gonna even, I'm not gonna bother resurrecting her. Like, it's not worth using an item to resurrect her when we're gonna finish this battle. I'd suck she won't get the experience, but we'll get more experience. Alright. That works, I guess. It's a thing. So, our first diamond switch is here. You can see those statues. I wonder if I could shoot hand pan through the door. There we go. Statue moves. Fantastic. So, that's one of two. This really is... It, this is the entire puzzle. I mean, it's... It's a lot of running around. But we'll get it done. And then we're uh, we're sli we're on the short list of things to do. I mean, like literally, darkness does not make you blind. I should say it's not. 
Every other RPG would make you incapable of hitting people, but it's the evil attack. You gotta remember that. All right. And he got it! Trump card has been mastered. Trump card does damage based on how full his uh, his life is. But it doesn't matter. I just wanted it. I wanted it done. So now we obviously have to turn it back to get this other one. But uh, going up here now, we can go down and get these treasure chests. Which will provide us all with new armor. Well, now I really have nothing for him to do. He doesn't need to do anything special. We can just three attacks will kill this thing. Well, certainly if one's a critical. Assault coat, Jala Poncho, and Filgea robe. All right, so let's, uh... Not a bad upgrade. Also not a bad upgrade. Not a bad, not bad. And we're stronger than we were. Although you could probably say that about every aspect of, you know, stuff. All right. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm hoping he's going to one-shot that. Yeah, I mean, the fact that this is the last dungeon and the enemies aren't giving us any problems, that says a lot about the way this game was designed and our particular playthrough worked out. So we're back to blue. Which is, I don't know, better color than red. I don't Seems like, uh... Now what we have to do is go up these stairs and then down the ones that we bombed open earlier. And that'll get us to our last little ordeal. And now we're gonna just find our way out. It's pretty easy. This should be, by the way, the 90th Wild Arms video we have posted, which I think is impressive. I mean, it's it's not a long game. Although that could say more about my inability to make things work. <laughs> things like that. All right, so. It's down here, isn't it? Yeah, here it is. Huh. Well, I was, it was, I was hoping to get this into a 15 minute video, but we might have to run a little longer. Um. Now, you know what? Let's do this. And uh, we'll do some stuff with her, too, because the bottom line is that I, uh, I'm going to refill all this stuff when we get back to the teleport area anyway. So why should I worry about what we have for magic points? All right, and now we can advance. Uh, except for that. Okay. All right, we do have to go back and turn it to red. Well, pain in the butt. 
Ah, Dello Bunny! Okay, so let's see if we can hit this thing. We're not going to get an Analyze in, I don't think. It will cast Confusion quite often. None of that matters if you do that, though. So there you go. 10,000 experience for a Dello Bunny. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if I can go along the bottom of there or not. I'll watch as I go by. Nope. Okay, red should give us a way to do this now. Oh, bad move. Alright, so now what? Oh, just up through here. Easy peasy. Oh, this will be quick. And hopefully, like I said, I'm going to run the video along and get out of here at this point. Because we're about to get the last piece of uh, the puzzle. Mega Berry. I mean, like, I'll take Mega Berries and stuff all day. That's fantastic. Alright. So we have the arms. We'll just... Skate on out of here. I think that was the way we wanted to do that, was it? I think we want to go this way to get out. All right. Now well, that's not it. All right, come on. Now, the teleporter actually uh, can be set to take you back to the entrance. That's a thing that should be noted. So, or take you, yeah, take you back to the entrance and you can go back to Kadingo pretty easily. You've got to run back through here, but that's, Malduk is not that complicated a dungeon. So here we go. So now we have all three artifacts. We uh, finished that in one video, which is nice. And uh, when we come back, uh, I'll have I'll have done whatever the thing is that I want to do, and we'll be uh, in good shape. I should say if you if you if you do this, then it sets the teleporter to area one. Um, no. Uh, I will see you guys for that, and bye, everybody.